Hey Sweaty, welcome back to the channel. My name is T-Soul Games and I'm here to show you guys how to make the Huntress from DC Comics using the superhero skin. If you guys like these videos, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know when a new upload is happening. I upload these things all the time and go live and play with subs all the time. So don't forget to do that and use code T-Soul Games in the Fortnite item shop whenever you make a purchase or buy a battle pass. It really helps me out. I'll save you some time and just show it to you and then we'll build it together. So if you want to stick around for that, I can walk you through it. Dynamo Dancer is the skin. Emoticape is the back bling. Super Shredder steel claws is the pickaxe the victory vaunter is the glider and the shard fall is the contrail several different options that work for the pickaxe glider and the shard fall if you don't have these ones don't worry about it if you don't have the emoticate i would say hopefully eventually you can pick this one up i do think that this is the best choice for this one there aren't a lot of purple capes so if you don't have this one i would just go no cape let's go ahead and build it together i'll show you guys what we're doing let me reset the build really quick i'm gonna go ahead and choose the victorious pattern we're gonna go ahead and choose hairstyle C. She does have longer hair. And so if you guys have, I think maybe the Voltara skin has um, the long hairstyle that's down, which I think is Voltara is the one that Zemi uses, I'm pretty sure. I might be mistaken about that, but I'm pretty sure Zemi uses Voltara. This one is Dynamo Dancer. She only has these three hairstyles. The others have different hairstyles. So the Voltara one I think has the long hair. If you want that one, go get that one. I only have this one. Hairstyle C, mask on and belt on primary color here is going to be black so we're going to go ahead and do black spandex secondary material we're going to go ahead and choose white and cloth for the accessory we're going to do purple and that turns the mask and the belt purple so you can see that this is how we get that huntress look eye color none eye effects none skin tint none hair tint is going to be black we want it to look as dark as possible so we're going with that one for the sticker, choose none. All right, so that's the character. So that's Dynamo Dancer. Let me go ahead and show you how we can make this even better with a back bling for Huntress. She has a purple cape with like a white stripe across the top of it. And the only way to make this exact type of a back bling or cape would be to use the Emoto Cape, which is the one from the superhero set, the Boundless set. We have the Emoto Cape and you can see I've already built it out, but I'll show you how I did it. The primary color is purple, just like the mask and the belt. To get the white stripe, the secondary, you just change to white. And then the sticker, just keep that empty. Pickaxe, there's a couple of good choices here. One of them I do find really interesting is this arrow point carver. The arrow point carver, if you view the style, it has a blue and a red, just do the blue one. It's closer to purple and it has a little bit of purple inside of that cosmic color scheme there. Her weapon of choice is crossbows, like crossbow guns almost. This is a good pickaxe for her. If you have this one from the chapter five, season two, Queen of the Hunt set. Another thing that you can do is just using the battering ax. Uh, that one's good. You could get away with doing something like the energy claws from the prowler sets, also purple anything purple if you can't do like an actual crossbow which we don't really have the ability to make a crossbow I would just go with something that's very purpley pick something really purple and go with that I think this one even has a cosmic set so yeah if you have this crew pack here the fangs of the Hesk you could do that one really fun just it'll be like she's beating people up because they're really small the glider I chose this one over like some Batman looking one because the victory vaunter looks like a like a gangsters type car and she's from a crime family like an Italian crime family that to me seemed like a gangster thing to have would be like a big cat brawler chapter five season one victory vaunter vehicle you could do the competitor's timebrella because of the colors silver and purple very similar color scheme to what she's got this one if you change it has white and purple just like this that is a great one for her and now she doesn't have wings or anything but this would be like a cool glider to have to match the skin now for the contrail a couple of good ones i really like doing this one because if you choose the big brawler car for the glider then this one works really well because you go from the car to the street and i really like that one again crime family kind of opposite of the superhero thinking but it's the same result getting to the tail lights uh, the clutch delivery set has an amazing contrail and this one is one of my favorites for almost every superhero that's street level i wouldn't do this for like thor for instance but like anyone else who's like a street level hero batman spider-man all that stuff this one works great if you happen to have the shard fall you can just choose purple and look at that boom it looks super clean i really like the way that the shard fall looks with the glowing light it's up to you you could even do the wicked wings from the psionic eclipse set in chapter four season four um, i'm gonna go with the tail lights to match the car theme and that is the huntress let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments you guys have some fun let me know if there's anything you would change about this skin and if you want to support me just like the video subscribe to the channel leave some comments i really love the comments and i reply to all of them and use code tsoul games in the fortnite item shop whenever you make a purchase it's going to help me out big time so i really appreciate that if you want to leave a tip tip jar linked in the description appreciate you guys you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and i'll see you next time right here on t soul games